he hi welcome to my channel today we will see why we use high k dialectic materials material as gate oxide we know in mosfet we know in mosfet this input current or this gate current is zero we say that the input impedance of a mosfet of a mosfet is equal to infinity and the current passes into the gate is zero if you see the structure of the mosfet it is like this you have a source and a drain and here you will have an oxide and then here you will have a gate so this oxide is an insulator and which does not allow the current flow insulator and this is the channel so this insulator will block the current flow in this direction now with this incessantly scaling the oxide layer is becoming thin and thin is becoming thin so now there is a chance now there is a chance of tunneling of carriers through this thin oxide layer and no longer the impedance no longer the impedance is infinity so to to avoid this we go for high k dielectric material in place of as i wrote so what this means is we keep the physical thickness thickness of the oxide layer high to hinder tunneling but we try to keep the electrical or effective oxide thickness evot effective oxide thickness as minimum as we wanted to to 
maintain the maintain the same electrostatics i same electric field or gate controllability EOT or effective oxide thickness is it is equivalent thickness of SiO2 required to achieve it is the equivalent thickness of SiO2 required to achieve same level of electrostatics or gate controllability or gate controllability with high k dielectric of a particular physical thickness now what we are doing we are just doing we are increasing this oxide layers physical thickness we are increasing its physical thickness but we keep electrical controllability same electrical controllability same for that you use high k dielectrics that means now suppose this is the mosfet and this is the gate thickness we are increasing gate thickness we are increasing so this is your new dielectric generally we use a fumium oxide hfo2 generally we use a fumium oxide hfo2 and see now the physical thickness increase so it will hinder the tunneling but the controllability the gate controllability that means the, if we apply a voltage on gate how it create the channel how much channel it creates it will be equivalent to this this length sio2 now the physical length increased but the electrostatics you will get as same as this so let's see an example so this evot effective oxide thickness is given by the physical thickness of the new material into epsilon of sio2 by epsilon of high k dielectric so suppose if we want to achieve same characteristics same characteristics as 1 nanometer sio2 and then what will be the physical thickness of high k material we use
so just put the values here uh, the effective thickness we want is 1 nanometer and we want to find the physical thickness of HFO2 and silicon epsilon value is 3.9 and this HFO2 epsilon is around 25 to 25 to 27 let's take 25 and this value is approximately leads to 1 by 6 so the T physical will be equal to 6 nanometer now this SiO2 of 1 nanometer SiO2 is replaced with this 6 nanometer opium oxide so as the th physical thickness is increased the tunneling will be reduced and there won't be any tunneling current and you will get the same electric field same electric field or electric controllability of gate gate controllability as SiO2 so to get such more crisp concepts please subscribe my channel if you like like it share it and sub comment if you want to know any other topics and press the bell icon to get notifications